guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a stretch routine. I get lots of requests to do more stretch routines. I do have a warm up and somewhat of a cool down stretch routine, but today I'm gonna bring you sort of like a daily stretch routine that you can either do after your workout to help you cool down and stretch your muscles, or just to add into your daily routine because stretching is so, so, so important. As a lot of you know, I have a dance background, so stretching has been a part of my life for like my whole life. And I really think that it is truly beneficial for everybody. A lot of the times, most of us spend most of our days sitting down, either working at a desk or on our feet. A lot of the times we don't have good posture, we're standing like this. So it's really good just to take a few minutes out of your day just to stretch, really open up the body and stretch it in ways that you wouldn't normally on a day-to-day -day basis doing regular things. You won't need any type of equipment for this stretch routine, just yourself a little bit of space and a soft surface such as a yoga mat. I will link the mat that I use in the description down below. Just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me and without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we're first gonna start by taking our feet in a wide stance. We're gonna just do a couple big shoulder rolls. So take a nice bend and roll. One more, and we're gonna lean our neck to one side, feel the stretch, press that shoulder down, and other side. And lean forward, drop that head down, Turn it from side to side, really let that neck go, and look up, and side to side. And again. And now we're just gonna take some nice rolls with our neck nice and slow. One more this way. Now you're going to take 
If your right leg is behind you, take your right arm and reach toward that leg and hold. Keep those hips nice and square. All right, let that leg go. Staying here with your toes released, you're going to extend that leg. Again, keep your hips nice and square. So this time you're going to bring that left hip back so you feel that stretch in the hamstring. Let your head go. Come forward. Back up on the toes. Step to center. Do a little halfway stretch here. So hands come to the shins. Nice flat back. And release. Take a nice bend and roll up. And now we're going to repeat that with the other leg. So we take a nice lunge, hands come up. We reach up, feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Hands come down to either side of the foot. We stretch that front leg, pulling that right hip back, bringing that left hip forward to increase the stretch in our hamstrings. Bend that front leg, drop the knee, arms reach up, we lift, feel that stretch, lean into that hip, and arms back down. You're going to bend your back leg, reach, and feel that stretch in that hip flexor. And release the leg. Stretch that front leg. Pull that right hip back. Release the head. Hold here. Come forward. Back up into our lunge. Step forward, feet come together. Come to a halfway lift. We come back down, nice bend in the knees, and slowly roll up. All right, now we're going to hold a center stretch. So toes come pointed outwards, wider stance. We're going to bend, and you're going to press your legs outward. Just hold here. And release one shoulder forward. Look back toward that left wall. And switch. One more time. And one more time. Really press those knees back. All right, now drop your hands to the ground. You're going to Release your right arm up and twist. Feel that opening in the back, in the chest. Hold here. Arms back down to center and other arm. Arms back down to center. Straighten the legs. And we're just going to hold here. Really feel the weight in your upper body. You can take some nice gentle swings here. Just really feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. All right, and hands to the ground. Nice big bend. And roll up. All right, now we're gonna come to the ground. We're just gonna take a few cat and cow poses. I love doing this. It really is such a great way to just open up that back and get everything moving. So we're going to release up. And contract in. And release. And 
contract. All right, now we're gonna take a few circles with our hips. So we're going to lean forward and really push those hips back. We're making nice big circles with our hips. So we're gonna go three one way and then three to the other. Last one. And other way. All right, now we're going to sit down on our bumps. We're gonna take a cross-legged position or you could just have one foot in front of the other. You don't necessarily need to have your foot on top, but that will increase the stretch. So you're gonna have one foot on top, take a nice deep breath up, and we're going to release forward. And we're just going to hold here and feel that stretch in our hip. Rocks here, you can 
let your knees drop out to the sides of your body and just kind of sit here for a little bit. You can grab onto your feet into like a happy baby pose. And bring your feet together. Come into a nice halfway lift. Hold here. Release down, hands touch the mat. Hold here for a few moments. Nice big bend in the knees. And slowly roll up. Alright guys, so that was a quick little stretch routine that you can implement after your workouts or just into your daily routines. I highly, highly recommend that you include stretching into your regime, especially if you're working out consistently. It's so important to really take care of our bodies by not only exercising, but by also stretching and helping our bodies to recover and stay nice and loose. It will also help you with preventing injuries. I hope you guys enjoyed this little stretch routine. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it. Would you like to see more in the comments down below? Make sure that you are subscribed because I am here every single day bringing you guys a brand new workout video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!